Hmm. A little bit dark. Let me just... Ah, there we go. Much better. Ah, look at this. The beautiful, peaceful landscape here. I hereby claim this little estate here as mine. And yeah, it'll probably be ruined soon enough because we got some heavy hitters here on the 2v2 scene. We got Dirty Finisher and his teammate, Duffman. Dirty Finisher as Oba Commander Vest, having locked in Breakthrough Doctrine. And Duffman, he bringing along German Mechanized, Jäger Infantry and Fortified Armor. And they are up against Isildur, playing as the Soviets and Photon. Yeah. So there's that, Duffman locking in German Mechanized Doctrine. And Isildur, he's got airborne troops, mechanized support tactics and got motor coordination. Photon. Well, he's got an identical lineup. Yeah. Same when it comes to the bulletins, even in the correct order. Wow. So there's that. Just buffs for the um, conscripts. It's a little more varied on the other side here, where we got accuracy for both the Volksgrenadiers and Obersoldaten, and then a little bit of, you know, faster cooldown and faster reload. Tough man. More XP or faster XP earned by the MG, faster pack on production, and of course the closed fist. So that'll be all. And dirty finisher going for Panzer Fusilier's as well. Should probably expect an M3, especially when you're up against you know double Soviets, then it is likely to happen. Does that mean Isildur's going to conscripts? Yes. So we got a mixed bag here of penals and conscripts. Parkour! Sick parkour! Oh man, that's barbed wire! I must have heard. Yeesh. My hands! <laughs> They're bleeding. Alright, a little bit of cat and mouse here. Counter parkour! <laughs> Okay, enough of that. Let's get to where there's some shooting. And of course, the shooting just stopped. So let's move on here. Yeah, but that's just green cover versus green cover. And... Ah, there we go. A little bit of flanking action happening. Also down here. Negative cover. More conscripts are closing in. But pioneers are hot on their tail. Oh, this guy here. Run! Yeah, combat engineer should win that engagement. Tough man falls back. Oh yeah, he's caught between these combat engineers here, but now he managed to get in close where he can do some damage. Oh oh, the retreat, however, is looking a little bit rough. We got conscripts and a flamethrower here. Down to half health. Yeah, that's the retreat. Speaking of retreat. Oh, wow. Well, let's just... Ah, there it is. The clown car. Damaged the engine, but not enough to actually save the little Kubelwagen. Hey, stay out of my estate. Don't burn it. Arr. Are they gonna get an another one off? Not anytime soon. Seven seconds remaining. Gonna throw these boys out of there. I did hear a rifle grenade get thrown off in the distance. <clears throat> there, maybe? Oh, oh there it was. Oh, very close there. Fom -fom. Oh, so much for being... <laughs> nice nice catch counter catch no even the more catching going on here light scout car killed panzer fusiliers managed to catch it and get rid of it yeah and here is the party boost with the 400 millimeter was canon yeah party hard 
And we have God Motor locked in by Thoton. Wonder Visselder will go the same. Double hundred and twenty millimeter motor. No, pl no thanks. <laughs> Just gonna whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. setting up here. Okay. Like a make a nice company down. Anything else? Yes, dirty finisher with the mechanized regiment. Whereas back here, tank of a battalion going up for Isildur has also the weapon the support company. And phone pump has yet to take up. Has gone for double frame floors though. Mm hmm. He is up against, yeah, Austere, so. Hopefully there'll be no... No, not really. Not really. He's up against here. Dirty finisher. So yeah, shoe mines. Not fearing shoe mines. Also a little bit of salvage there. Should he find the time to um, salvage it. Penals. Lying in wait here. Open up. And yeah, we just lost uh, lots of things down south here. The party boss is kaput. But he got... The conscript squad there. Meanwhile, let's see. Straf Nikki here. Doesn't look like a grenade was fired, however. But yeah, lots of infantry pouring out here. And dirty finisher retreats. Sends in the Puma though, and now guards are on the field. The very second Photon spotted that Puma. Meanwhile, 2-2-2 two, two, two is going in deep. And guards, yeah. Um, where are... No, oh, yeah, that's Isildur I'm looking at. There they are. They are up here. Hunting for Pumas. Yes. A little bit of a uh, vehicle harassment here. Missing up their aim. Not much health left on that guy. The guards have almost made it. That's a long walk. Slash jock. Pop, 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 pop. Four grins are for Duffman now. And there them guards are. And back to Puma goes. Along with the stern bios. No, my beautiful house. They've ruined the windows. <sighs> the machine gun coming out down south. The 222 and the rest of the gang is falling back now that Isildur is coming on here with all of his conscripts and a flamethrower. Hmm. Chief 70 will be joining the battle down here, I would imagine, and the sis gun is... Yeah, it's currently busy breaking the backs of those conscripts that have to... Pull it, push it, carry it. Guards... Still holding, having earned vet one, they immediately hit the deck. See a little bit of capping there, a little bit of capping there. Some fighting down here. LMGs are being issued to Duffman's Grins. Siskon, however, l falls back here. Doesn't want to put it down here yet. Mm, yeah, it's not really in a position now. And I suspect that Duffman may have heard an engine humming as he's now getting out of there. Oh, oh. No, there's no way he can get a Faust on that. Someone's pinned back in the middle. Heavy machine gun. Dirty finisher. Got them suppressed. And... Ah, yeah. Telemine. Nice. Had a flame... Fr uh, not a flamethrower. Uh, minesweeper. But, uh, yo, they were on the other side of the map. Well played by Duffman. Oh, a Q 
cute little panzer. And we have double mortar. Wow. Exciting, isn't it? You know, the second he lost the C70, it's like, right? God mortar it is. <clears throat> Not a bad choice, since, you know, when is God Motor ever a bad choice? Uh, up against this here, and, well, Duffman, he has the 2 to 2 so yeah, three vehicles that they are fighting against. One light armored, the other one medium armor, no, not medium armor. Uh, still, small arms fire, can't hurt it, unlike this one here, that's actually... Uh, adequately armored when it comes to dealing with small arms fire not counting uh, armor piercing rounds however beep 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 no aim shot available i wonder if it would have been beneficial to shoot them uh, while they were clumped up there with the name shot and they're destroying my estate my truck oh no Still, all four walls are still... Oh, excuse me. Hmm. Oh boy. Is he dead? Nope, he's alive. Not dead. Is there's men here running the risk of getting overwhelmed? They stay here fighting in this little garrison as all the grins are just Pouring all kinds of shot at them. Looks like a trip flare of mine had just been triggered. It wasn't the sun coming down, just a flare. There we go, one grin now running. And looks like these troops here are turning tail. Guard squad about to die. Yes, she did die, and now the conscripts are like, all right, time to go. But they will be chased by a 222 sis gun. Open the fire! Not enough to destroy the 222. Doop -doop 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 -doop. Who needs roads anyway? Alright, back in base. Mechanized armor company are going up for both Soviet players, whereas here, Dirty Finisher getting his battle group headquarters. Duffman has yet to escalate to battle phase two. Going for a drink, eh? Yeah, lots of damage coming in here from the Panzer II. It is deadly while stationary, which kind of works against its other greatest strength, uh, you know, its mobility. <laughs> oh. Hurry up and stop! Goodbye. That mine though. Oh, come on! Just step on it! Mm, I don't think he'll uh, be able to get away with this. Okay! Narrowly gets away with it. Double guard here for Thoton. And Panzer Fusiliers, now with G43 rifles, are taking the fight to the guards. Currently just melting them. Look at that HP bar uh, just <laughs> dropping. Vehicle buttoned. Lots of troops here. Grenade on the retreat. Well played. Ah, didn't get any models though. Here comes the cavalry without horses. Meanwhile, Isildur has lost a couple of combat engineers down south. You can tell by the minimap down here. Uh, and Panzer Fusilius goes down. They stuck around for too long. Panzer II comes back into the action. Down to half health. Models will be dropping. Okay, two. There we go. There we go. Now, 
We really got some model drops and yeah, this is what a massacre All right down south Duffman Holding Against Isildur's onslaught or well, what's left of it He is also backed up by um, The Granatenwerfer 34 mm -hmm. Oh Yeah, brand new combat engineers for Isildur immediately being given the flamethrower. The reserve has also been mobilized for Isildur, making uh, the conscripts more efficient. And cheaper to reinforce. <clears throat> right. First medium tank on the field for uh, the players. It is Thothan with the T34 slash 85 Puma. Yeah, those guards, they're gonna come in, probably button him. No, the T34 not there to pick up any buttoned Pumas. As this is going on, oh my god, my house is gonna get full of bullet holes. And now grenade. Uh, okay, it's on the door, but <laughs> using the back door. Yes, the back door. There. See? That back door. That's what I'm referring to. Down south, another back door being used. <clears throat> oh, that bunker from Duffman. Uh, won't last long versus the T-34. There's a pack gun around here, but it's a little bit awkward for it to find a, an angle onto that T-34. Brumbeer for Duffman. All right. And Photon having assisted Isildur clearing out this space down here. He can now turn his attention towards the north with his own tank. Uh, once he's busy mopping up down here, if he'll ever be. Uh, Isildur, however, he is coming down up here. Probably will close in on these troops. They may just overextend themselves a little too much. A body block happening. And yeah, he's gonna run into the conscripts unless... Okay, they're busy shooting something else, and those in the garrison are just sitting there. That's the retreat. AG grenade, 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Engine is kaput. Something is coming down here. It is the Puma. Though its condition could have been better. Well. VP-wise? Actually, that's very close. Almost even. A slight lead to Team Axis. And here is the Brumbeer. Hold fire has been ordered. He wants to manually target or at least manually issue attack orders. Not sure if that was an attack ground or if it was. Oh. I don't believe the uh, 2 to 2 can squish infantry. Otherwise, that would have been a easy kill. Oh, are they gonna get the grenade? It has to be thrown now. There it is! Kaboom, dead. Oh, two of them survives? Man, they were roughly half health when that grenade landed. A bit of luck there for Photon, I'd say. And Duffman. Grin survives. Dirty finisher. We have an Obersoldaten squad on the field. Puma gets away here, no longer buttoned. And there they are, the Obersoldaten. They do, however, not carry any AT weapons. That's what the Raketten is for. Yeah, gonna repair that and looks like Isildur has gotten his T-34 good to go. 
Uh, Duffman with the broom bear. <laughs> that could be such. Oh, okay. What was that? One kill only? Really? Another one? Another one! Oh, 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 yeah. Broom bear doing work here. Ah, bet one now for the Puma. Huh? Seven infantry kills. Just needs to keep the Puma alive till it gets up to uh, vet four. That's when it becomes such a huge pain in the butt. <coughs> Even more than it is now. Taking infantry fire. Let's just have a quickly look up here. We are about to witness a wipe. If this gets away, there's no justice. And there it is. Just as this gets buttoned, it is trying to crawl out of there. Just step on the gas and go. T-34 going out. Oh, the, this mine. All, not road, but this mine has been roaded. Uh, put it in reverse. There's a... Oh my god, that was his mine? That was quite forward. I thought it was a shoe mine. Anyway. One Puma loss doesn't knock us out of the war. There's a Panzer IV ready to pick up where the Puma left. And there's even a plane in the sky here. Mark vehicle on the Brumbear. It has been marked and equipped with the spotting scopes. Two to two. Taking on the role of anti-air. Get it up to that free, I believe. And then it's uh, somewhat decent at anti-air. But hey, even now it did well seeing that it's not a dedicated anti-air unit right little panzer 2 and p4 yeah plane shot down me as another mark target has in still in effect despite having shot the plane down lmg is also being issued to those obers very well and panzer 2 makes it out alive the little looks meanwhile duffman launching an assault down south Smith with armor, but hey, come on. Can he get a shot off? Shot off? Yes. Good pickup there from Duffman. But Photon just poking in his head here, not going in. Engine is kaput. Choo -choo -choo. With engine damage. And here comes the boom bear. Hello, you are about to be pretty much overwhelmed here. AT support, AT support, where is my support? Anything? What are all these bounces and misses? This tank should have been dead long ago. Okay, 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 there we go. Or almost, almost, almost. Got it. An AT grenade is all that's left, but not enough munitions yet. He needs one more. There it is. Just... Oh, come on. Is he not within range of throwing that grenade? There we go. He gets the lock. And it's still alive. And this thing here has a main gun crit. And Duffman is all down here. Not in a position to help out. Oh, 
Well, at least combat engineers weren't killed, but loses two raketons. Ah, and what else? Maxim abandoned. Even the little Panzer II is looking for uh, for those crippled tanks. Oh, but oh, they both got away. <laughs> Uh, yeah, one raketon is, uh, yeah, destroyed. Did Isildur pick up a photon? Yes. Did steal one of them and now, oh, guardsman killed. <sighs> Things are just blowing up, including my house. <laughs> no. Yeah, guards died within the house. Hmm. <laughs> Yay, Panther. Meanwhile, crew repairs has been initialized for a photon. Those T-34s will soon be back on the battlefield. And they will be backed up by an issue 85. Meanwhile, this uh, Panzer II, I was just about to say, it's doing well. Maybe hold. No, don't stop. Stop now. Sorry, my bad. I jinxed it. And here they are, T-34, ready for another round. Speaking of rounds, is that mortar rounds falling down? Yeah, 120 millimeter on the scene. Guard squad about to die. Nope. Made it out alive. Panther going in, converging on the T-34. Miss. An AT grenade is primed and fired. And that engine is out of action. And so is the tank, but not... Zombie T-34 takes out the Raketon. One last FU. Side skirt turns for Sebrumbea. And now it's dead. Three AT guns here from Isildur. Oh, uh, pardon me. Two plus photons. One Raketon. Yeah, the plane there, still happily flying about. And yeah, the 2 to 2 struggling with shooting it down. But hey, it's trying, it's trying its best. Though its best may not be adequate. Isler calling in. No, that's Photon calling in a guard squad here, replacing the lost ones and goodbye dustman heavy machine gun okay he's looking to destroy it oh but he misses a uh, pack gun up there it takes care of it meanwhile secure remote being used to capture that back in the middle we have obersoldaten chasing away the machine gun only an su-85 on the scene here won't be able to do much against uh, the Obers except for uh, harassing the crap out of them. <laughs> nope, you cannot go there. Just protecting the 120 millimeter mortar. <laughs> ah, that's funny. So, yeah, a little bit of engine damage up there, but uh, without any real AT here, we should be able to get away with it. Dirty finisher without any tanks. Though he is saving up for something big, I imagine. Time to load. Unload. Bullets. That's mine. Sure, mine. <laughs> Yep. 
Minesweeper not out as they are engaged in combat, but there are multiple ways of getting rid of mines. Okay, that's a retreat. Good. A tank is heading down here on the road. The T-34 enters the chat and the Panzerfusiliers have left the group chat. Now dirty finisher, he's like a minute away from getting this one out here if all goes well. Duff man getting a new bomber. But look at the map. Team Axis are being pushed further and further back and it is Team Allies now with the VP lead. And boy, that lead is gonna be significantly bigger once the triple cap comes in if it comes in that would be the last of the uh, lmgs for the men yeah two t foot force by isildur one photon Spotting scopes engaged. Here comes the pioneers They're getting in close to AT grenades. Not enough to cause any engine damage here. Retreats that squad rather quickly. Here's the broom bear. Hello, shooty shooty. Ah, what a beautiful hit. Beautiful hit. Meanwhile, down here, T 34 sends the grin running back home to mama. Oh wow, lots of punishment hitting the Panther. As well as the T-34, though it gets out of there. So, dirty finisher. He got the fuel, just need a little more of the manpower here. 105. And then we'll probably see the, the Jack Tiger, Panzerjäger, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh Brumberry is in trouble. Photon not continuing to dive as he would probably. Yeah, he'd definitely be snared if he dove in there. Oh, but that would kill a shot. Close one. But still, Axis. Not holding much land to their name at the moment. It will hopefully change if if Dirty Finisher can get out the big uh, Panzerjäger. But uh, yeah, Axis, they need to do something quick. Oh, he went for the regular King Tiger. Okay. Alrighty then. Let's see Duffman down here. Getting the VP under control should slow the bleed. Uh, let's see if what Dirty Finisher already has in his army. If it is enough to support his royal majesty here. Something else, a new T-34. And the uh, dirty finisher sets his sight on the middle. While also trying to get some fuel. If he succeeds, then it will be double fuel for Team Axis. Looks like Thoton isn't too concerned about uh, the fuel. Oh, they are clumped up. There's the retreat. Let's check in on the middle. As Dirty Finisher is looking to finish this cap here. He is on the fire from a heavy machine gun, however. Mm, 
One Raket and Werfer is nearby. Not that it's gonna help much versus the KT. Uh, but the KT is just hitting uh, the road. So, meh. Katusha must be Isildur's. Yes. Trying to softening up the uh, position here. Oh boy. Time to go in and hunt some tanks. One pack gun gets off the shot. By the looks of it. And now one panther and a couple of pack guns versus all this armor here. Oh, and the SU-85 is also there. Dirty finisher is sitting down to KT. Both AT guns has been decrewed. Mark target coming in. Lots of mines there. Takes down the SU-85. Engine damage applied to the KT. Planes are in the sky marking the KT. And probably, yeah, the panther here. Has destroyed one of the pack guns. Rakettenwerfer decrewed all the way up here as infantry is going in. Gren also lost. Yeah, wow. Brumbert, don't think. Oh, plane shot down. Good job. Two, two, two. Okay, he, and these tanks are pulling back. There is one pack gun ready to be crewed. And Dirty Finisher retakes his Rakettenwerfer. Now the KT back in action here. Gonna need some repairs. The Sturm Pios are retreating back to base, so it's gonna be a while before this uh, KT, His Royal Majesty, can get those much needed engine repairs. Meanwhile, Obersoldaten running for their dear life. Narrowly avoids the mine. T 34 not diving in. Meanwhile, down here, Brumbear. Looking to take care of the guards. Gonna need one heck of an amazing attack round here. But didn't get it. Guards are still alive. And some of the pioneers here could crew this pack gun again. 222, sitting pretty, vet free. Could move it up a little forward now to make better use of the spotting scope. But looks like. Duffman, oh, gets the hit by a mine as he attempted to flank the middle. But look up here, looks like Dirty Finisher has been busy. He's got the fuel and the VP. Double pack guns, make that triple pack guns. Probably didn't expect that other pack gun to uh, have survived since he now has three of them. Okay. And yeah, Duffman pretty much pop capped. He had room for maybe one small unit. Meanwhile, KT has been fully restored and brought down again what about photon does he have he has a new su-85 it's not quite in the position yet to deal with the kt but it soon will oh, these buildings here are making it rather difficult for the raket to find a good position to support the kt now will photon dive in deep probably not he needs to get back now And does Photon have blood? Does he smell blood? Yeah, a little bit of blood is smelled as he now dives in, but no, rather he was just tipping his toes. Feeling a little bit hesitant here, trying to get rid of all the infantry that stands in the way between him and the KT. That's one uh, raquette and down. Completely destroyed and down here. T-34 has been destroyed by the triple pack. And now the 222 showing off that vet free. Let's get that plane shot down in a timely manner. Or not. Mm. Blitzing in. Spotted. 
Needs to exit focus mode if he wants to speed things up. Katusha falling back. There we go. Has exited that. This gun's about to set up. Gonna protect it. And boy, Duffman going in deep. But... Don't go deeper. Uh, T-34 stalks this area here. And dirty finisher. Jagdpanzer. Let's join the fray. Triple AT guns here. Gonna take it down. One more shot is needed, and he gets it. Nice. And guards dying all the way up there. Melted by Panzerfusiliers and Obersoldaten. Those guards, they should retreat. Oh, they're really sticking to it. There's no need for them. There we go. Will they die? One shot. Missed flare in the sky here provided by the Panzer Fusiliers mark target both of them <laughs> it was like simultaneously I can't believe it yeah that's looks like they both actually marked the KT and SU-85 going down not by the Jack Panzer however Oh, boom, boom, boom. 120 millimeter destroys. Takes no prisoners. And yeah, we did just lose the Panzer Squad, Panzer Fusiliers. And the T 34 looking for combat, not capturing that VP up there. And allies now below 200 points as the battle continues to rage. More guards. A boof. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Flanking action. The T-34. <sighs> with the takedown. Destroys the shoebox of death. And gets away with it. Um... D crude AT gun, T-34 ready for combat. Another one. We're practically mass producing them. And that pack gun is toast. Any bunker busting shots here? No, it's on cooldown. It's on cooldown. Oh, Panther. May just have spotted something here. Mm, now nah, the prey gets away. Whoa, that's uh, yeah, ran over that mine, but gets the uh, gets the crew there. 120 millimeter is quite close to the front, and blend copper bomb has been thrown by the looks of it. Yeah, man, those AT guns are pretty close. Couldn't quite destroy that one. Siskon remains. Operational. But hey, he got rid of that mine. That's something. Uh, KT. Spearhead mode. Oh. Yeah, those tanks here are looking quite mean. There is not much help surrounding the KT here. Only the Panzerfusiliers are near it. Should. Any help be needed for the KT but yeah this one up here engine damage so it's not like it can do a super quick flank here but we're getting where for forces the KT back again marked vehicle Brumbear busting the racket and where from gets picked up again though only three of them remains Let's see if the KT... Close. So close. Almost. Meanwhile, this one... Just getting repaired on the front. As if no danger was near at all. Duffman almost has his Panzerwerfer. Dirty finisher. Saving up fuel. I could imagine he might want the Panther this time around. Uh, 
at this thing here yeah there we go no longer marked but t34 just swoops around shoe mine not finished and also being placed in the position where the t34 didn't go this one here not going in just yet but gets help here from isildur the kt is left to fend for itself it has no at support Oba Soldaten killed the other sobers are falling back and now the kt is gonna go boom abandoned <laughs> not that it's gonna matter much uh duffman blitzing to the rescue but there's not enough damage done to all of these t-34s so that the panther can get an easy kill and tough man has also just lost his broom bear down south right there <sighs> Yeah, now this one here abandoned as well. It's kind of falling a bit apart now for Team Axis. That's a worth of fire. Trying to get rid of the 120 mm motor. Uh, got a kill. Wow. Shoebox of death on the scene once more. And here the uh, Panzer Fusiliers pushes away the 120 millimeter. And again, Duffman trying to pull up a cheeky flank here, but Siskun's in position prevents any diving. The situation is becoming critical. We have only 50 points remaining. Oh no! Shoebox! Gets help from a pack gun. Nice. Storm Panzer IV is reporting for duty. Storm Panzer IV? Yeah. Another day, another broom bear. See here, Axis holding the south, soon the north. No, what? They are looking to flank the guards here. Double Sturms closing in. And it, yes, there's a concussion grenade, gonna give them a headache. And there's the retreat. And they can now proceed up here, clear the mine, get the VP. But they have to hurry. A T-34 is coming up here in secure mode just to stop the capture from happening and there we go ah well that's one way to prevent the capping from happening just kill all infantry down here yeah heavy machine gun lost go boom photons little rocket still stands Opus soldaten are repelled and the stern pyros dead and that one also abandoned the collapse is happening in stages and now the 222 is yeah it's about to die as the t-34 gets in here but okay now it's escape it's escaping Whew. Oh, uh, yeah, just getting overwhelmed now. Duffman cannot stop this. Oh. And I would say that this is game as the tanks, Soviet tanks, showing the Germans how Blitzkrieg is done. Ah. Uh. Uh, just hammering on to the remaining 222 also going down as the shoe box <laughs> is getting boxed in and i'd say yeah that's game team axis surrenders and team allies takes the victory so what a game that was a good one that was a real good one. 
and I hope you thought so too. Like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. Dislike the video if you disliked it, but uh, this was a good one. All right, uh, let's um, briefly run through the stats, and if stats are not your thing, then we'll see you next time, okay? Have a good one. Overview. Yeah. Axis doing the most damage combined. <clears throat> yeah, wow, Isildur. Well, he did have conscripts. <laughs> but move. That KD, though. Duff man. Oh, yeah, that KD, though. Very well. Very nice. Let's look at the graphs. Team allies followed by Axis here. Yeah, Dirty Finisher were at his lowest here. Came back again, but whoop, lost it all. And then here in the last bit, you can just see when the allies made their push. Mwah. Resource float is being spaghetti. <sighs> Points held. Uh, let's see if we can get some sort of picture of who dominated here. Yeah, it's a little... Yeah, it didn't go so well for Team Axis uh, in the later stages of the battle here. With little territory held by them. But at least the VPs were... Um, I mean, it weren't that bad. In fact, I'd say it was kind of okay. And now for the units, um, let's just be sure that we start with this alert. And his units, just gonna briefly run over them. His one and only guard squad got killed by the looks of it. Yeah. Lots of damage dealt by the cis guns. And now on to Thothom and his units. Guards, yep, yeah. two lost, two survived. Kept his combat engineers alive, though. And moving on to Dirty Finisher. Dirty, dirty, dirty Finisher. Wow, the Panzer Fusiliers actually did plenty of damage versus vehicles. Look at that beautiful round number. So yeah, oh, huge efficiency on the Panzer II. Moving on to Duffman. Only lost one Grand Squad, not bad. Anyway, I think that's, uh, that's all for now. So uh, yeah, see you later. Goodbye.